Guys, Bobby Moretti back, SSP for short to some, surviving sports picks. All right, guys, I'm going to jump right into the National Hockey League West. Um, obviously, my team from last year, the Blues, they were 42-19. and 19. They had 94 points. I'm telling you, last year, bro, I was watching the Blues. They cut the ice in, 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 in thirds, man. They back-checked. They were impressive, man, because I liked Minnesota in that series at, at one time, and I was watching, and I said, man, this Blues team, man, they play defense. They score enough, just enough to, and, you know, they were they were a well-rounded team. They were an old-school fashion hockey club, old-school fashion-type hockey club that I grew up with, and they would cut the ice and, in quarters and back check and, and, and so on and so forth, man. So the Blues were in first place at 42-19. At, with 94 points, you had Colorado, who I like a lot, 42 and 20. They had 92 points. Uh, Dallas, 37, 24, 82 points. Tough team, man. Dallas, I like Dallas. Uh, then you had Vegas, 39 and 24, 86 points. You had Edmonton, 37, 25, 85 points. Might have fell short. Had it this year. A couple of young studs. Got a nice team, man. Had to keep your eye on that Edmonton team, man. Canadian team uh, uh, as well. Like I've been talking, a Canadian team as well, like uh, like Toronto. Um, and uh, so you would have had to keep. We would have had to keep our eye on all these teams, but you would have had to keep your eye on that Edmonton team. Uh, Calgary, who I liked, won a lot of money with Calgary. Um, they were thirty six, twenty seven, and seventy nine. Um, then Winnipeg was the first cutoff team with the wild card. Another Canadian team, Calgary and Winnipeg, um, 37, 28, and 80. Both Winnipeg and Calgary were just a little bit inconsistent at times for me. But uh, there was enough time left where, you, you, you know, if, if they wanted these teams to be in, the, in, a, in position to be in there, you would have saw some more consistency and they would have solidified one of those spots uh, I would think um, because Nashville was next in the wild card at um, 36 27 78 points I like Vancouver next man at 36 27 and 78 they put the puck in the net I've been talking about that a little bit I, I would I would think that it could have been Winnipeg and Vancouver I think Minnesota and Arizona were both playing for another day, but I wrote them down because they were 35, 27, and 77 Minnesota, 35, 27, and 77 Minnesota, and Arizona was 33, 29, and 74, so you had to keep them there on the paper here. You had to keep them in mind. Arizona was a little sneaky, like I told you. Um, you know, they were sort of like the Blue Jackets, and, well, Philadelphia was getting real hot. But I would say that they were like, uh, I would say Arizona was a little bit less than maybe the, the Blue Jackets, but they were 33, 29, and 74. I don't know. I think they were both playing for another day. I think it was going to be Winnipeg and, and Vancouver maybe. Maybe Nashville only because we've seen a lot of that Tennessee State in our coding in all sports. Maybe it was them like the Islanders with the – the finances so you got to keep all that stuff into consideration and I do bro I do it's all part of it with me so um, at the end of the day listen if the Blues kept playing the way they did last year there's no question they could have won it uh, Colorado was the team I liked with, with with the Maple Leafs at one time I still liked Colorado 42-20 and 92 points, two games back of St. Louis, right in the mix. And I'll tell you, Dallas was a physical team, man, just like St. Louis, 37, 24, and 82. They were right there in the mix as well. A lot of you guys liked Vegas. I wasn't convinced. I don't know why, but it was nothing against you guys liking them. It was just, I'm saying, you guys liked them. So I was listening to you guys and keeping an eye on them as well. Edmonton, I told you. Sneaky. There's the team. There's the cat. There's the Canadian team. Like I'm saying, along with uh, above Arizona and the Blue Jackets, that I think could have made a run. But uh, you had Edmonton and you had Calgary. Uh, 
you know, I, I, I just think in, unless it changed, Calgary was a little bit inconsistent. So were the Canucks, but the Canucks seemed to be a little more consistent, if that makes sense. And if they came on with what was time was left, they could have been a real good team in the mix. There's no question about it. I would think I would have liked them more so if Calgary and Winnipeg, with the time left, didn't become more and more consistent, but still slid in. I was I would have going in. I would have obviously liked whatever I saw, but I would have liked I liked Vancouver, bro. So at the end of the day, who would it have been? I liked uh, obviously Colorado and St. Louis. Um, you know, if they wanted that Dallas team from down south to be in it, they could have been in the mix. Vegas, you guys liked. Edmonton, I think Calgary might have fell short. I would have had to watch a little bit more on them. Winnipeg, I was going with because they were a Canadian team. Calgary as well, but I don't, I just, I think I liked Vancouver a little better than Calgary and Winnipeg having to wait and see, but they put the puck in the net, Vancouver, and that's what I liked. Um, so at the end of the day, if I had to pick a team, not knowing how it was going to play, which is tough. Again, I'm not going to sit here and say I could pick it because none of us can, I don't think. I would say it was going to be St. Louis, Colorado. I would say I would have went with Colorado with, with, with it going black. I would have said I would, I would have taken a risk with Colorado, but you got to wait. Right, you had to wait. I don't mean to repeat myself, but you had to. I mean, it would have been. It might have been obvious that it was St. Louis. It might have been a hands down no brainer. It could have been a repeat, right? Or lost in the finals, whatever they wanted. And I liked Vancouver. So, <clears throat> so saying it again, having to wait and see on everybody, the Calgarys, the Winnipegs, everybody. I would have said that I would have liked Colorado, St. Louis, and Vancouver. So, if I had to pick a final, not knowing how it played out. I would have said Colorado and Tampa. That would have been the way I saw it. Uh, I would have, I would have picked them as of right now. That would have been my two teams, unless they had St. Louis in there again, and uh, you know, uh, you know, maybe my Toronto heart slid in, and I was right from way back. And uh, that's really all. That's all in the East, really. I think it was one of those three teams: Boston, Tampa Bay, Toronto, Washington, maybe Philadelphia. Yeah, I mean, you know, and uh, and I don't know. There was something about that Florida team, but I don't know. I, I'll go with I'll go with uh, it going black, and I'll say it was going to be Tampa and Colorado. So that's it, guys. That's the hockey. Um, obviously, you guys all know. And you newcomers, too. I'm throwing this out at everybody. If anybody has any ideas what I could continue to do without being able to go live, knowing I need to be able to go live with what I want to do with my channel going forward with the three different categories that I want to do, you know, BML land and everything. I'm not going to name it all. Everglades, everything. High, low forest, uh, national forest, the homeless. I mean, but the homeless is important to me. But, um, yeah, and, and and live from the casinos and, and the horse track. Um, if, if everybody thinks that that, that that Facebook could become a place that I... But I can't bring... I got to... I gotta. Oh, yeah, I can go live with Facebook. I can go live with Facebook in, in, at all those places. So if you guys think it's Facebook and we could all get on there with notifications and, and everything that they have to offer, then Facebook is cool with me. If you guys think it's got to continue to be YouTube, give me, tell me that. Tell me that. Say, so ready. we got to get those thousand. We got to, we got to do that. Um, if anybody has a computer, I mean, I, I probably, now that I'm thinking of it, I probably don't even need the computer. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could use the computer until times, well, no, because games will be on and that's what we want. So it's the phone, man. I got to use the iPhone. I got to use the iPad and the iPhone, I think, because I got to take it out on the street. You know what I mean? So, but if anybody's got any ideas, like I said, I talked to Don about a week ago or so now, time's flying, and he had some great ideas. I respect Don. He's a, he's a, he's a um, political science major. He's got some ideas. Um, so just reach out to me, man. Stay in touch, guys. I miss you all. I love all you guys. Reach out to me. Say, ready. you got to try this. You got to think of this. You got to do this. You might want to do that. I'm all, I'm all ears, man, just like your guys' decodes and everything i read everything man i respect you guys you know and so it works both ways help me out man throw some shit at me i'll 
I'll I'll, disle- I'll I'll deflect it with the waffle, the goaltender, like you know, deflect it. But I'll be I'll be in net, man. I'm gonna be taking on everything you you give me and, and, and siphoning, man. So I'm just pissed off that there's no sports, man. It's crazy. It's like you know, I was upwards to 130 Patreons at one time, taking pride in my work, working my ass off to get games out for people. Was I trying to build my Patreon? Of course, but and I want to win too, like I told you. But I want you guys to win as well. I got a heart the size of the van, man. I got to give you the last shirt off my back and the last dollar in my pocket. I know I got nothing. Never had any. Well, I'm not going to say I ain't been blessed and I haven't had anything, but you know what I mean. I don't come from big money and I never had big money. So, you know, uh, I'm not, I don't need big money. I am a simplistic minimalist, man. You know what I mean? And I have fun doing what I'm doing. I have fun with you guys. I have fun with everybody capping games, man. I love to cap games and... I'm trying to do something here with my with, with my overall Patreon and my channel and my clothing lines coming. I'm talking to my buddy Bruce Kennedy. He's a Queens guy. He's been in the printing business his whole line. I'm not going to go crazy like I told you, but I'm going to have some stuff up there that that might be that I could maybe push and people want to support my channel. I got the descriptions below. If anybody's new here, or anybody that I've known wants to take it takes a liking and an interest in some of the things I'm doing with the with the filming of beautiful parts of our country and or the homeless. You know, and you want to support my channel and throw me a tip here and there or support the channel or throw the tip towards say, hey Moretti, you know, I've been winning a little bit. Here's a little bit. Let's put it towards towards the homeless thing or or whatever i'm going to document everything i'll show everybody exactly where everything goes i'm not i'm not begging so you know it is what it is i'm getting old bro i'm getting old i'm 56 i'm getting gray by the day i got a bad back i got arthritis i'm trying to build something i I gotta have i gotta have i gotta i want to i need a little cash flow uh as i get older but i'm gonna earn that cash flow man and if there's new people here that want to take a look at me uh and get to know me we got the discord you could talk to the guys there's um people on i'm on instagram at surviving sports pick twitter is is surviving low case minus surviving low case minus that's the best way i know how to describe it surviving low case minus picks and I give out some free picks, man. I, I throw back, man. I give back. I, I, was, I was giving out a couple free picks. I'll continue to do that. And the other perk I'm going to do is I'm going to go live on, uh, on Patreon. You guys got to – that's one thing I've been trying to figure it out, guys. I'm not the best technical guy in the world. I'm delving into it. I can go live on, but you got to use a second or third party. You got to use is – it, is it Cowgill and Vin, Vimeo? Vimeo? But you and, and YouTube, but I don't know if I could use YouTube without the thousand. So I can't go live on that. And but then you upload it or download it, whatever the word is, um, uh, to uh, get it on to Patreon. But I'm going to go live on YouTube in the morning, and or just a video. I'll mix it up and go over, review the day before and show these new people my work and what I'm wins and losses for the day before and then I'm going to have a in the afternoon I'm going to have a, a live show and live shows from all these places there'll be various times I'll have out notifications on my Patreon for all you guys that's going to be a perk on there for guys that sign up for certain levels or whatever I might give it to everybody I have to see how it all falls I might I might change up my my payment levels and combine some things and make it a little cheaper for everybody and the clothing line is all going to be priced where uh, you know I'm not looking to make big money and it's affordable, so I'm gonna have all this. I have all this going on, guys. So hopefully you guys are gonna take a liking to what I got going, and we can all help each other. Like uh, SL3 or S3L said the other day, we're gonna break this code. We're gonna do our thing, man, and we're gonna move forward. But we just need, excuse me, we just need sports to come back. So stay well, everybody. God bless everybody. Peace.